Peace and Harmony here. This is your sister Roia of Rose Gratitude, aka Brandon and Hitiwa's mom coming to you here live from the Chicago from the Chicago land area, aka my super amazing place I love to be, my garden. Give you a little quick peek of the garden. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Look at all my stuff. Just a little peek. Just a little peek. Got some tomatoes and peppers and squash and some beautifulness growing right there i just want to welcome you you know if you're new to my channel welcome please like and subscribe and hit the notification button and if you already have subscribed i want to thank you so much i'm just sitting here enjoying this beautiful warm amazing day taking a deep breath in why don't you join me now and another deep breath in release everything that's not serving you today that's not taking you to the next level that you want to go on to just take another deep breath and we give thanks for this day that we are here we give thanks for this day that uh, our families are here the ones that are here and uh, we give thanks for the ones that are gone and passed on and now they are watching over us we just give thanks for all that is well and all that we are working through so I really wanted to come on here really quickly and talk about a couple of things. Uh, so some of you that do know me, I do lead a uh, vegan lifestyle, okay? But I more like to, to refer to it as a 100% plant-based lifestyle. That's what I, 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 I aim for. So every day I work on getting closer and closer. That's the goal, to be 100% plant-based. So every day I'm working towards that. But what I want to talk about today, like my household is all vegan. We don't cook anything or eat anything with animals or animal products. So, but really, it's more of a healthier lifestyle than it is something about eating, you know, non-vegan. So vegan, I want to just make clear because I've seen a lot of people talk about when they hear the term vegan, they go, oh my God, I ain't never had no vegan before. And they run away and they shy away because I think it's because they are not clear on what vegan is. Vegan, my darlings, do not mean healthy at all. Okay. So I can give you a couple of examples of some unhealthy things that are still vegan. Beer is vegan. Oreos is vegan french fries are also vegan uh what else potato chips are vegan so there are so many things that are vegan so i just want to explain what vegan means okay vegan simply means that anything that doesn't have meat or animals or animal byproducts simply this everything without a mother anything that has a mother in the face is not vegan okay so, and then you have their byproducts. So you got the cheese, the butter, the eggs, the milk. Those are all things that aren't vegan because they're animal based. Okay, but you can be a vegan and you can eat spaghetti. You can, because a lot of us, so a lot of people tell me, I've never had vegan. Like today I had an event that I was, I had to, you know, do a show in somewhere for, for a radio show. So when I talked about what I did, which is I am a vegan chef or a 100% plant-based chef and I do cooking classes I do meal preps and for people that want to learn how to eat better and eat food that are close to the earth that help them return to the earth which when you eat plant-based food your body gets to heal a whole lot faster and a whole lot easier your body can heal versus eating a lot of animal products or animal fat and animal meats it just kind of slow down the healing process if you have issues or you want to just lead a healthier lifestyle so for me and my family, we have chosen to just eat food that are plant-based. That's what I decided to do versus just eating vegan food. So when people hear vegan, they tend to run. Like this lady told me today, I have never in my life had vegan food before. But that's not true. We all have some, at some point, have had vegan food. We all have had spaghetti with the spaghetti sauce that didn't have any meat in it before. We have fries before. We've had potato chips before. We've had, a, if you're an adult, you've had a beer. And then some young adults have had beer. And we've had Oreos. We had several things, but because it wasn't labeled 
vegan or you were unconscious about that you think well I ain't, I've never had nothing vegan before so I just wanted to come on here and just kind of break that little myth of while well, vegan means healthy or vegan means whatever you think it means it simply means vegan means food that's not no animals and doesn't have any animal by byproducts like any type of cookies that may have eggs and milk in it it's not vegan and uh, but some things that are vegan like I said the, the Oreo cookie is not a healthy cookie it's a processed product but it's delicious and is vegan so if you are on the whole vegan kick you can have that okay french fries it's just potatoes fried in oil <laughs> excuse me and it is also vegan and so many things I can go down the list of many things so I just want to really kind of break that up today and just kind of get some clarity on the whole issue about uh, what is vegan and what is not vegan and vegan does not mean healthy so I choose to lead a healthier lifestyle so I, I mean you if you like beans rice greens potatoes and you know we make tacos we do different fruits we just choosing to eat the vegetables without the meat and that's it and that's all so I hope I was able to bring some clarity to the issue and I'm gonna be doing some a video later on about making your own homemade nut milks because we love milks in this house my children love to have cereal they like drinking little milk stuff and I'm like but we don't drink cow milk so we buy almond milk but I started making our own milk so I'm gonna do a video on how I make our milk for the house and how we can you know store it and all that kind of stuff so if you haven't already like this channel please share this video so we can kind of break some of that myth and then maybe we'll be able to incorporate more healthier things in our lifestyle and stop running away from the whole term vegan 